Hey there, and welcome back to Expert Challenges, an educational monster train series where we get a divine victory on every Expert Challenge. We're plugging away the DLC Expert Challenges now, and the next one is actually among my favorites. I love the ones that replace your champion with one of the cool banner units that you normally don't get to play. Obviously, the Dante one up top in the originals is really good. You know, it's it's nice. You just play Dante and Crush. I actually really like the Hef one, though. And I think it's a lot of fun to interact with. I think if you just got Hef, it would kind of suck. But because you also get Wingmaker to go along with it, it's actually really good. There's also the non-zero possibility that you get the Hef event while you already have Hef, which I have had happen before. And... That one's hilarious because you can actually have multiple hefts, but more importantly, you could get the size reduction as well. I'm actually a huge fan of Wingmaker in general. It's just that that size reduction I was talking about is so good, I very rarely take Wingmaker. The other thing is that Wingmaker fills a very specific niche that sometimes you've already got satisfied, right? I have, I have a endless shark or something, or if I have a holdover glimmer, or if I need that holdover for something else, right, then the opportunity cost of Wingmaker is sometimes not there to be worth it. But regardless, starting with it certainly makes it very easy to plan around. So I'm always happy to have that. I will at least before I get too far ahead, I will talk about our previous one. We had Brains over Brawn. You can kind of see the clan combo we had here. I literally just recorded it. So you know that that just happened to me. But we played Little Fade with a Firelight Angle, which basically fully negates the Armchair General modifier we were dealing with. Pretty cool. The rest of these, the Magic Hand and the 2 for 1, are actual detriments, and we overcame those by simply loading up a Train Steward with Multi-Strike and, and uh, plus 25, and a Draft Infusion. And the Train Steward obviously advanced Prototype early on, let us plan around it very strong. We ended up with a Votive Key play on... on Firelight, which essentially meant that I didn't have to worry about reforming her ever, as long as I played correctly. So that was really good. And yeah, there were some dicey turns, but ultimately I think we handled it well. It's Firelight, and we didn't have to go too high on shards, so we had a very secure line, in my opinion. So I think there were some tough combats, though, right? I mean, it was patient, always difficult. You got to make sure you handle that well. Divinity was tough. There was a last minute engulfed in smoke that I think was actually really important to the run for my general survivability. I'm actually glad to have had that. So that ended up planning and paying out really well for me. And yeah, we got the win. So now let's talk about Hef. Where are we? Oh, yeah. Truer champion. So you're you don't get a champion, right? So that is quote unquote the downside. In some cases, this is an upside. You know, I mean, Tethys is bad, so getting rid of Tethys, we don't mind. In most cases, however, I usually play this with Windleton simply because you don't really care for Windleton always, but I always want Root Seeds. It depends a lot on what you want the second clan combo to be. So if you want your second clan combo to be something, I'm trying to think of a good example. What would be a bad champion, good clan combo? Pretty much just like Stygian, maybe Hellhorned is in there as well. I think there's a lot of ways you can go about this. This is not that difficult of a challenge. You pretty much just play a normal run, but you get Hef instead of a champion. Usually that's just straight up an upgrade. And the Wingmaker is also good. I genuinely think things like play Tethys and then replace Tethys with Hef and you feel pretty strong about that is solid. I think that spell weakness plays very well with Wingmaker. And certainly it's a great incant spell as well. So I do want Stygian in here somewhere. And I actually think it is going to be Frozen Lance over Forgone Powers, because I think they'll play nicer, take 20 consumes well, things like that. Uh, and we don't have to worry about Tethys, so I'm actually good with this, right? And we pretty much always run Root Seeds on these Expert Challenges. It's very rare that I don't. It's just such a good secondary clan combo starter that it's pretty hard to say no to it, in my opinion. And we're picking our clan combos to win, so we're going to do it. But yeah, I thought about it, and I think this is how I'm going to go. I'm going to play Tethys, but not really, and I'm going to bring Root Seeds. So let's go, let's go play some Hef, right? So heck yeah. 
As always, do like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Those things are super cool and awesome, and all the cool kids are doing it. So that's what they tell me anyway. What would I know? But yeah, let's get in on it. Truer Champion, depart. Cool. It's fun playing half. I like this one a lot. Ooh, and we get Urchin Spines in our opener with our Hef play. Good old Wingmaker. Incredible. All right, well, I hope you're all doing well today. I'm doing okay. I'm just playing a lot of Monster Train to try to build up a bit of a backlog and get over a kind of nasty week. But, you know, I guess I've been dealing with a lot of nasty weeks lately when you think about it. Someone actually mentioned that to me on Discord, and it's like I'm not trying to be a bummer about it. I'm just always, you know, open and honest about what work is like, I guess. So it is what it is. Sometimes things are tough, and sometimes it's just kind of the way of it. So anyway, we'll go ahead and hop in. So today we are Default Stygian, Exile Awoken, as I mentioned. We're facing Rage Talos, Spell Shield Arcus, Diligent Seraph, a little dicey, but we have spells to handle that I don't mind. Titan's Gratitude, Wildwood Sap, Urchin Spines. All good, right? Wildwood Sap is a very nice opener that will make early game pretty smooth. Goes away after you play it. Urchin Spines is fine and good. And then Titan's Gratitude, it's okay, right? It's frontline damage, I suppose. We'll take it. I don't mind Titan's Gratitude as much when I don't have Forgone Powers. And then, right, we have If I Had a Hammer, so we have Hef and all of her adjacent components, and we have no Tethys. Sure, seems good to me. Temples today are two, five, six, and eight, so four temples, not too bad. We have a dupe on eight on the steel side. No removals with it. Steel and Magic Shop on seven. Both sides pretty good. Magic Shop having the Vortex. Steel Shop having the Horde. Random dupe on six with health and money, whatever. Competes with a very good Steel Shop, as it sometimes does. Uh, Steel Shop has Vortex in the cave. Almost certainly this, unless we desperately do not need upgrades. We have a Horde Cave Trinket Shop on five, competing with a kind of middling Magic Shop. The Trinket Shop is very alluring, but... We don't have the money for it. This is actually not that strong. We might just go to the magic shop for some minus ones. We have a good steel shop on four with vortex. Cool. And some health. There's an awoken banner and horde competing against it. Depends on what we need, but we'll see. This is a great example of, I mean, I have no idea what we're going to do here, right? If I need this awoken banner for an infusion or hopefully not by this point, but some kind of base unit, then we'll see. Early game, we get... Steel Shop having the Awoken banner on two with Awoken, I mean the Stygian banner on the Magic side on two as well. I do value Magic Shops quite highly. We have immediate holdover value from Wingmaker, so Magic Shop probably rips. If we see 10 in Piercing or plus 30 at this Ring 2 shop, we're going to load it up and hope for the best. You could just make copies of a loaded Wingmaker and crush the floors that way. It's basically better Inferno if you think about it. On ring three, there is an extra Stygian banner in a hell vent. So if we can upgrade Wingmaker on two, then we could maybe get a real cool Wingmaker dupe on three. We'll see. We'll see. Winged Steel Sap Tap. This is kind of weird. I think Winged Steel is going to be better because we don't have Restore. I mean, the Wildwood Saps essentially guarantee Sap Tap value for ten full turns. So I don't mind it, but it's probably not drawn on turn one. Winged Steel is always online. I'm just going to take Winged Steel here. We grab money, of course. We move on. We have Hef, so we crush the first combat. She just murders a guy, right? He's like 45 health guys just straight away pass out. So, yeah, just crush. Cool. Good. Great. Amazing. Here's a Wildwood Sap, we'll Frozen Lance upstairs. She kills the whole floor because she tramples. I mean, it's... Okay, sure, that's Monster Train. She just wins, right? She just wins this combat in such a aggressive fashion, it does not matter. Behold, we did it. Good job. Hey, Wingmaker, cool. It, none of this map bonk, she just crushes. Nice and easy combat one. Thank you very much. I will take flash freeze. It is a ping. I appreciate those. Targeted damage is good. Wingmaker is nice, but you want to have something that actually like targets down an enemy. Yeah, we'll take the flash freeze here. 
Sting, Steel Enhancer, Vine Grasp. Sting is okay. Steel Enhancer is fine. Sting is pretty good, actually, because of the Winged Steel. I don't mind it. I mean, Steel Enhancer is not amazing. I'm just going to take Sting. Sting is a good pickup here, I think. It's fine. I wouldn't say it's good. It's fine. I'm not so keen on a multi-strike here for Hef. She's not really worth that upgrade. She might be better if she didn't have this stupid upgrade already stealing a slot, but she's otherwise pretty bad. So we're not gonna really prioritize her on that front. We could use her infusion into like a sweeper or something, which is not bad, but I am gonna go magic side here, I think. Holdover would be cool. Plus 30 or something would be cool. Man, we really lost on, we, we failed the RNG check on the temple and the magic shop. I mean, I at least got a siren. Sure, I'll take the siren. Minus one. First one's going into root seeds, certainly. Fine. Plus ten. Nah, whatever. I'm not doing that. We're going to spin this. <laughs> We do see the holdover. Okay, so we actually do have holdover Wingmaker. We just don't have anything good to put in it. And that's okay. I do not think a plus 10 is good enough here. It, while it does 32 damage, you really want it to take one of these bigger upgrades. So we're just going to kind of cruise, I suppose. That will be strong enough for now. Spell chain? No, we're not going to do that. The purge is not bad. But I'd rather hold the Frozen Lances for 20 consumes, honestly. Let's just move on. Stay at 10 shards here. It's fine. We should still completely crush this, right? It's not that big of a deal. We have Hef. She just goes mega bonk on something, and it's fine. Crunch. She straight up kills the floor. I will play the Siren, at least. There's no reason not to. But yeah, she just bonks the floor, and it's okay. I'm going to Sting up top, and then I may as well play the Urchin Spines up here. We'll play Root Seeds. I'm going to Wingmaker Middle for money because it's good to do it. Hef just kind of pummels these floors as is pretty typical. And then I, what, Wingmaker Middle to avoid more curses because they're very annoying? Sure, seems good. We should have no problems crushing this, right? This is a sweeper, right? So we'll buff up front here. And then we'll just... Incant, I suppose. And then crush bottom floor. Yeah, Wingmaker is a good play for dealing with a lot of this garbage. Wildwood Sap. We easy win this combat. Very cool, very cool. Oh no, I dropped Wingmaker. It's fine, I didn't actually want to play it. Anyway, we easy win this. No problem. Thanks, Hef. Very cool. Crunch. <laughs> it is very satisfying seeing her in the early game. She just punches things and there's floors. It gets it falls off really hard late game. But at a minimum, she makes your early game very strong. She probably either gets removed or sidelined somehow or used as an infusion. It's really Wingmaker that you're paying for here. Anyway, I don't need another flash freeze. We're skipping this. Want third Wildwood Sap? No. Sharpen. No Razor Sharp here. Worth keeping that in mind. I think we chill on this. Move on. Take money. It's okay. Magic Shop again. Stygian Banner. Not a bad call. The dupe here is not as good as you would like because I don't want to dupe a Wingmaker. I think I'm just going to go to this Magic Shop. They show me another holdover though. What is it on? The answer is I don't think anything. Nasty dupes. I guess you could always dupe our root seeds, I suppose. I suppose I'll look at the Stygian banner. You know, this could be an infusion, right? It's fine. Siren of the Sea is not a bad infusion, if I'm being honest with you. It's pretty respectable. Good defense. I could always self-infuse. I do not like self-infused Nameless Siren, though, because you really need, like, Guard of the Unnamed's defense or something like that. You need Incant for two health, basically, ideally. I think the Siren of the Sea is functional, is the way I would describe it. So we'll take this. This is at least gives us some kind of a, okay, I have a plan, right? I'm going to grab money. I'm going to look in this cave before I look in the Hellvent, or rather take the Hellvent. You could see something cool here. 
Purge a unit, get an upgraded version later. Purge a spell, get an upgraded version later. What unit could I give up? You want to give up Hef here? <laughs> you could. You could just give up Hef, right? That would be very funny. What would I, I'm trying to think what would even give that would matter. I don't think there's anything relevant. I think if I'm going to give up a spell, I'm going to give up a Wildwood Sap. Maybe we see like cloning Wildwood Sap or something, which could be cool. It's a pretty decent defensive play, I suppose. None of these are great, though, right? I don't have anything expensive. I guess you could always do Titan's Gratitude or something. These are all kind of bad, unfortunately. Could use this as a temporary removal of a train steward. That's like the worst choice you could make, though. It's essentially giving up value from this. The value, I suppose, is you have one fewer card in the interim. I think it's okay to do that, maybe. I think the better play is purge a spell on a Titan's Gratitude and just kind of see what comes out. That's okay. This at least maybe gets some value out of whatever pops out. As far as the dupe goes, I'm probably just duping a minus one root seeds here because it at least never gets in my way. Yeah. Okay, sure. It's at least not objectively bad. Okay, it's actually positive, right? Because it guarantees an incant. It's an extra card that essentially replaces itself in a good way. So this is pushback Talos. Debating how I feel about it. I think we're going to go train steward in front. Hef root seeds and we chill. Yeah, and then we can play the other Siren up here, and we're okay with that. And I'm just going to start working on the other things here. Sure. Seems okay. We will incant upstairs. It's fine. We'll eventually play around that other one. Not a big deal. All right, cool. Wingmaker, let's go. Just pummel things. Neat. Now, with any luck... Ah, she chose to move away. Wild. We crunch top floor, no problem. I do think I'm just going to play a train steward up here. And then we sting, it's fine. It doesn't die, but that's okay. Yeah, I'm gonna play the siren out now. Third siren's a charm. Start buffing here. Start crunching stuff, it's fine. It will move Hef to the back, unfortunately. But the bigger Siren is still strong and in front. And this is the one that's going to get Wildwood Sap and everything. I am going to play out the other stuff. I want to play that, what is it, the Wingmaker here, because it prevents this next floor's big damage play, which is, you know, otherwise potentially a big risk. I don't want to take this 16 damage or whatever this number is. So we're looking okay, right? That's a lot of stats on this floor yeah i was just thinking i was like this seems like a lot of stats on the floor i think we're okay we are it's just a lot of raw numbers which is good enough okay clear nice we got through this floor siren song is a pretty decent card i don't have any frostbite that really lets it go off the chains but if i put an intrinsic on that it buys a lot of turns for whatever my plan is i'm gonna grab it i like that we do see a shark. I will take shark every time. There's never anything wrong with shark. Vine Mother into Diligent is an option. Some kind of a tank here. I don't think it's a great option. Shark is just objectively way superior. I also think this is definitely Ember because we're Ember starved and I have Wingmaker. Or not Wingmaker, but Winged Steel. So it's definitely Ember right now. All right, I'm looking for steel shops. We're going to go left. I'm looking to assemble a floor that actually does something. So multi-strike, whatever. Endless on my shark out of the gate is pretty great, in fact. I'm going to... Because we see the Incant Armor 2, I'm putting that on the Nameless Siren. We will go the direction of Siren of the Sea into Nameless Siren here. That's plus 3 health per Incant with plus 5 damage. That's pretty good. This also helps keep the rage afloat so it doesn't just kind of fall away. Cool, I will reroll. 
Give me a multi-strike? Oh, buddy, boy, all right, we're online. An extremely normal run of Monster Train is about to happen. We have a fully loaded Shark. We have a fully loaded Nameless Siren. The second I can do the infusion will be set. I get to cut garbage here, which is just going to be train steward, train steward for sure. And I feel pretty good about this. I will take the horde in the middle, absolutely. Are you serious? I didn't need this to win Monster Train, but I won't say no to Founding Seal. I was actually looking at Mark of a Champion and thinking to myself, wow, they really offered that to me when I don't have a champion. But they gave me Founding Seal, so really, Monster Train's about to have a bad day. <laughs> is what I just decided. Okay, buddy, sure. Ancient Hate? I'll click it. I'll click it. I don't care. I have Founding Seal. It's fine. What, what could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? Four Ember? Thank goodness. Hef, go stand in front of this Nameless Siren. Here's a Shark. Have a nice day. Incant. Insane value. Obscene value. Astronomical amounts of value. Wow, 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 wow. Amazing. I'll play the card, sure, I don't care. It doesn't matter, we're so far ahead, it's nuts. Amazing, click cards. It's good to click them. We like to click them. Amazing, this is, this is strong. This is what we call a good floor of monster train. Brr. I can't even do the burr sound very well, I don't even care. Just crush. We're already up at 129 by 2 there. Seems reasonable. I can finally get other Siren on the floor. Seems good. Here's some Wildwood Sap action. Seems great. Just keep buffing the multi-strike friend in the back. I don't even actually care about Wingmaker, so I'm just going to keep clicking Root Seeds here. It's fine. We're very far ahead, and I'm okay with that. Cool. Neat. This is a very handy... 217 times 2 unit seems good seems good I'm not playing shark you can't make me I don't need to we already win this combat it's over good good job <laughs> just press and turn dead in one reasonable reasonable all right cool Second Siren Song, I think we're good. Ice Storm, if I get a plus 30, it's going in Wingmaker. We already have the Holdover. I'll take Crystalline Seeds. It's a really good card. I think this card gets a bad rap, but this can clear actual waves. Six plus five in two floors. That is 11, which is really good. It's free. It goes away, and it baits Diligent really well. I also think it's just a versatile play. Yeah, Preserve Thorns. You ever want some quad incants? Absolutely. That's a ridiculous card to grab. And then... What did I get? Add a copy of your discard pile. Hold on to it, buddy. Make it free, please. That would have been a cool Wildwood Zap, but it doesn't matter. I guess let's go after some Magic Shop action. I don't... I already have Founding Seal. What more do I want here? <laughs> We're good. As it turns out, the run is straightforward from here. Some minus ones into Root Seeds. Always valid. No 20 consumes is a bummer. Plus 30 Magic Power. Wingmaker you shouldn't have. At this point, we just purge a Frozen Lance. I no longer care. We are way ahead. We go ahead, Siren of the Seas infused into Nameless Siren. Amazing work. Wonderful. Double stack. I mean, double stack Siren Song is pretty tempting now that I have the shark, so we will click that. Yes. I'm going to re-roll this guy. Remove Consume? No thanks. Minus one here just goes into a Root Seeds. It's fine. I'm going to save the... Siren Song for the possibility of a minus two later, since we have a number of these coming up. And I cut all train stewards, we move on. Most of this is just, it's just straightforward. Yes, yeah, spikes, whatever, I don't care. It's a very straightforward run from this position. Cool. F just stands in front of Nameless Siren here. There's very little else I have to add about any of this. Cool. On turn one, we're doing 100 damage. Seems good. I get Shark here. Amazing. We absolutely play the Sting action here. This is just like a ridiculous amount of everything. 
I'm just gonna use this name the Wingmaker to incant at this point because it doesn't matter. I suppose I should make sure mid floor gets cleared, but we're already ahead enough. I don't think there's a problem. I want to avoid the siren song here because everything does have spikes, so there's that as well. But I'm just gonna blow up mid floor. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it's cool. And then what? We'll stop the damage. Sure, why not? Flash freeze this guy. Sure, good job. Cool. I think this guy easily dies. If we see, what am I trying to say? If we see. What is the relic called that gives spell weakness 2 on top floor? Anyway, if we see that, that's the one that you want to click every time you see it. That's about to be outrageous. It's the... Logbook. Where is this? What is this called? It's not that one. Totem Fragment. It's Totem Fragment. Sheesh. I'm over here just... What, what, am, what am I trying to say? Monster Train, help me out here, bud. I'm gonna let those guys walk up and just elevator shark, I think. It's fine. We're already doing 300 by two upstairs. It's so ridiculous. I can't even begin to describe how powerful we are right now. Brr, so much damage. Cool, reasonable, good. I love when self-made harpy attacks into shark. That's always one of those nice moments. And then we also have the ability to just fully elevator here, which is a nice touch. So that's cool. Shark can just face tank here, which is great. I am going to self-infuse the shark if this game will allow me. I want to see what these numbers get to. You can't stop me. All right, deal with it. 534 times two. That seems pretty decent if I were to say so myself. So I think we're good. Rationing scales. Do I actually want this? No, I don't think so. I'm going to sell it. I, I value my 110 health a little more than that. I don't want another crystalline seeds, I don't think. One is enough. I have enough spells, right? Oh, absolutely. I have preserved thorns. Just sell it. It's fine. Pyre grow. That's unnecessary, but funny. More ember, even? It's not bad, right? I already have enough. Not bad. I think there's plenty of turns where I could use this for free, essentially. I'll grab it. Sure, why not? That's okay. What do we get? I get, I'll get forced free Titan's Gratitude. Maybe they'll give me a 10 in piercing and I can have that thing clone itself and go nuts. I am going to go to the right here. Answer is I want a self-infused shark and you can't stop me. Even if it does result in bad Pyromains play here, it's just fine. Self-infused shark is huge. Minus two is also very good on this siren song. Shark. Into shark. Great work. I know what you're thinking, by the way. Why haven't I removed Hef yet? It's because the fact that she has intrinsic in this particular instance means she actually does just get drawn into your hand and does not compete with one of my other banner units. That makes her uniquely suited as a guaranteed second banner unit. I don't mind having her. She's kind of like a... 50 health wall right now. I'm gonna burn a frozen lands. At this point, we haven't seen enough 20 consumes for me to care. And then this minus two, I am gonna put into this siren song. Very cool. Six days like that is well worth it. We move on. A lot of things die to 180 now, 240 later damage, especially when you have sharks frostbite. You could potentially use that to straight up kill what am I trying to say? Like, mini-bosses. Anyway, here's Shark. I want to save the Preserve Thorns for when I have the Siren in play. I'm going to do that. It's fine. I'm not mad about it. Cool. Here's the Siren. Time to go. We're just full sending. Cool. Seems good to me. Any, at this point, honestly, anything that walks is going to have a bad time. So we're just, just click cards, essentially. I don't really care. I'm not even going to put Wingmaker onto other floors, is the thing. Now, we did get an incant here. Bummer. That's okay. We'll just play these on other floors, I suppose. Send it. Sure. 
That works out because it discards. It's fine. Yeah, we will blast Arcus with just simply too much armor and health to stop me. Is essentially what it's going to come down to. So, that's fine. Alright, cool. I'll shoot this man, it's fine. We're going to play the cards however we can. Sure, Siren Song, this goon. Whatever, he's dead, it doesn't matter. I'll make zero cost copies of these. I don't mind them. Eventually they become annoying because they start discarding themselves, but it's fine. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah, and now you kind of see why I wanted to hold on to Preserve Thorns, because we can just bolt end, and it's good to have done so. Play Shark Bottom. I'm going to Elevator Shark into Arcus. There's no reason not to. We have infinite space for it, so... Yeah, we're doing a lot of damage here, as it turns out, and I'm completely okay with it. Seems good to me. I like that Titan's Gratitude more if I can get a Tenon Piercing into it. That is kind of the goal right now. Because you see, when you get to this position, you're kind of thinking to yourself, hey, wait, they're going to start discarding each other and they become net detriments to me. So, but if I can upgrade them, that's pretty cool. Ah, uh, yes, my favorite turn of Monster Train. The one where if I just click Siren Song, I lose. Whoops. That's okay, we're gonna kill. All I have to do now is dupe the Siren and we chill, and that's it. Awoken's Rail Spike is essentially free real estate here. We're just gonna click that. I am drawing a lot of cards. I still think I could draw more, so we're gonna take... Well... Do I need space? I don't think so. I can just play Hef plus. The thing is, is once you have second Siren, which happens on ring eight, Hef is too slow. Because she is a three space unit, she essentially is a two space unit. Oh, that works. No, it's no, it doesn't work. We only have one space. So you can't play second siren on turn two. So we end up giving getting rid of Hef on like ring eight. I think we just take draw here. It's fine. Sure. You could take space and then keep Hef, but I don't think she adds enough that I care. I'm going to just cut garbage at this point. The frozen lances are so bad. There's really no reason to hold them. They haven't given me the 20 consumes, so they are my next worst card. Yeah, we'll go left. More Pyre Remains, can't wait. Golden Vault Forever Flame? Well, yes. That's great because I have a replayable shark. But it also helps Hef, technically. I mean, this makes my turn ones really good, actually, right? Let me count them up, see how we're doing. One, two, this is six, seven, this is three, so that's ten. Fourteen, eighteen... I'm not going to count this Titan's Gratitude in any special way. We'll just call it 21 and then 24. We're already ahead on Diligent. And that's not even factoring in this like, cloning Titan's Gratitude that we technically have. So I can just burn Frozen Lances. I guess I'll look for 20 Consumes first. We could get one finally. Hey, there you go. Sure, we got one. This minus one goes into Root Seeds. Incredible work. Double stack. Meh. None of that matters. We spin it. Now, remove consume is tempting. You could generate, like, every preserved thorns play is worth a lot. Adding stings is not a bad thing. There's a point where it becomes bad, but, you know, it's not for a while. <laughs> if I'm thinking about it realistically, I think if you're going to remove consume anything, the Awoken's Rail Spike is just way better. Sure, let's do it. That just seems good. Now, I could hold out for a minus two, right? Put that in there. That's fine. We get a plus 30. I'll stick it in the cloning Titan's Gratitude. Where am I going? The dupe is on steel side, though. So if I don't take this minus one, then this rail spike is kind of DOA a little bit. I'm just going to minus one this. If I hit the minus two later, it's fine. Sure. I'm good with it. Move on. Now this removal is just going to be the other two frozen lances, I think. Just get rid of those, and that's chill. 
Cool. Now we're very good. 150 out of 100. I mean, we're already ahead. I don't need to worry about it too much. Armor emblem. I'm not afraid of this. Not at all. I have a plus 30 wing maker, and I will draw it in time. I will just play shark middle to guarantee collector. We'll play hef upstairs. I'm going to rail spike for four and see what we roll into. It's not great. I could pyre grow here. I actually don't want to. I don't really need to do anything fancy here, do I? Play all these downstairs, I suppose. It's all fine. I'm going to save the wildwood sap. Draw eight. I'm just going to play the pyre grow, right? It's fine. Draw six is enough. I'm guaranteed to get the siren, so it does not really matter to me. And now we begin sending it. Preserve Thorns is your friend. Mid floor is clear. All right, we're going to be fine. Yeah, we already have pushed past 205 here, so not a big deal. And Shark is doing a lot of work, so all good. We do a lot of damage, as it turns out. Yeah, you just Wingmaker here, and then we do just straight send this man to the Shadow Realm, and he is gone. We just keep incanting, and it's fine. Cool. Great. Thanks, Shark. Very cool. And then anything Shark doesn't deal with, we can deal with via other means, a.k.a. Wingmaker. So that's cool as well. I don't actually expect Hef to contribute a lot here. Just generally speaking, there's not much for her to do. So, that's fair. Sure, I'll sting twice. Seems fine. Cool. Alright. Shark mid-floor. Yes. Wingmaker. Incredible work. Really doing... Really doing all that we needed to do. Meanwhile, my Siren is presently just straight up winning the run. I can just play Siren Song, it does nothing, there's no reason not to. Draw a bunch of cards, continue incanting. Again, it does not matter. Sure, I guess I could have played that top floor, but I don't know, it looked cool. Whatever. Eventually we will play Shark Upstairs. I'd like to Elevator Shark, if at all possible. It really doesn't matter. We our Siren is currently living at around 300 health here, so I don't think anyone has any issues about the state of this run. <laughs> like, seriously, what is anyone... I thought about putting a Root Seeds into an enemy to kill this shark. It just does not matter. We just don't think about this too hard. It's Monster Train, and we're having a time of it is the way I would describe it. I can actually just straight up Siren Song this floor and kill everything, but I'm not going to because it doesn't matter. Oh no, Shark, what'll we do? It's fine. I'm now at this point just seeing how high I can get the Siren's hit points, right? Like, <laughs> seriously. Sure, we'll bonk middle, why not? Draw some cards. It's a good way to spend your extra ember. That rail spike is doing a lot of heavy lifting. Cool. I'm pretty sure we can two turn this boss. Or one turn this boss, actually. That is way too many copies of Titan's Gratitude for anyone keeping track. Simply too many. Yeah, we one turn it. Bonk and then dead. Easy. We got like 1600 damage in the back. We make second Siren, this is freebie. I'm going to take the unnamed tome because you can't stop me. I'm going to take Engraft because you cannot stop me. Amazing. We go dupe. We just click buttons. At this point, none of it matters. I see a plus 30. A plus 30 into the big Titan's gratitude is actually pretty cool. I, 175 repeating damage is a lot more attractive here. The intrinsic is good actually. I'm going to put this into the Preserved Thorns. You may ask why. The answer is simply that I would like enough incants on turn one to overcome a very high damage divinity, and this guarantees it. So that's actually great. We'll click that. Merchant of Trinkets. Ah, Lightstone Casing. I guess I could have considered that for something doesn't matter. I think my current choices are actually just strong enough that I don't care. 
Take Second Siren, 10 times out of 10. I suppose I could have looked for Pyrestone housing if I was really feeling it, but whatever. They gave me Totem Fragment. I'm going to click on that. I was just talking about this. That's ridiculous. They also gave me a <laughs> Firebox. I could have held off on the Intrinsic, but again, it does not matter, so I don't actually care. I could keep Hef. She can be a really good tank with Incant Armor too, huh? I'm sure. She's not actually in my way, is the important way to remember this. So, I would like Sigiled Seaweed at this point. That just seems like a really good thing. I'm not going to do this firebox business. It's okay. We are very far ahead. I'm just going to cut the other Titan's Gratitude because this card is bad by comparison. And I think we are super chilling. This is an expert challenge, by the way. I'm not trying to get to 200 shards, and I almost did. So... That's just where we're at. We have a very strong run on our hands. They gave me that early founding seal. Monster Train didn't know what they were doing. Anyway, plus 30 Wingmaker in a Totem Fragment is going to start doing Inferno levels of damage to floors. So I really have no fear. Cool. 190 out of 100. Good luck, Diligent. I'm going to have enough armor to kill a world. <laughs> this, is, this is just going to be straightforward, huh? We're just going to click cards. You know, one thing I got to give it to... Incanting is extremely good dopamine generation. It just, it's just really good. I'm not going to play Hep here, okay? True. I'm not going to play Hep here. Ah, there, look at that. Magenius, top decking the other Siren. I knew there would be some nonsense like this. I was thinking about it, I was like... I don't know about this. We're going to keep Hef out. I'm going to play her after I redraw a round. Shark. Pyrogro. Curses are your friend to get rid of them. I mean, no one likes curses. They're bad. I'll draw a card. Oh, we hit Wingmaker? Oh, you shouldn't have, Monster Train. You really shouldn't have. Thank you, Shark. Very cool. Shark just doing... Shark doing so much work here. Now, the only thing we have to remember is not to just completely send it on Wingmaker every single time, because it's very easy to do that. And that is, how do we say, bad. I am going to Wingmaker, because I would like space for Hef eventually. I'm going to Flash Freeze the boss, because you might as well. I can hold on to the Unnamed Tome for one more turn. I guess I could have played it there, actually, right? Might as well. Top floor, full send. Root seeds. I just slam the Wingmaker here. We send most of this floor away to the death. Incredible. Sting. Consume here. I just go ahead and Siren Song this, because that man is already dead. And then I begin cloning a very strong Titan's Gratitude, and I think we are cruising, right? 100% cruising. Now we airdrop in half. I'm going to flash freeze downstairs to cut off that curse. We blow up the top floor and we are chilling. And now Hef even generates armor, so she's actually a pretty decent tank, right? It's actually pretty good. A little shark middle here for sure. Wildwood Sap is your friend. You just blast it. That's so much damage. It is truly inferno levels of damage for anyone keeping track. And my computer is actively lagging from all of the incants. So that's fun. That's how slow it is. I clicked the Awoken's Rail Spike there. And it took so long to register the spell click. Unreal. Amazing. Yeah, I'll blast a sting. Sure, why not? Oh no, not a sting. Whatever will I do? Inferno damage. Cool. We are completely chilling, as it were. Press end turn. Hef now has like 150 health, which is pretty good, as it turns out. And I can elevator shark into diligence, so we are super good, in fact. 
cool. It's actually more than Inferno levels of damage if you actually run the math, right? It's 216 or whatever that number ends up being. We just get to play four more cards here. That seems good. Cool. <laughs> just truly ridiculous. Absolutely send it. I love it. Amazing. We just elevator shark, and then he goes in front at the end of the day, and monster train is good. Oh no, I wasted a sting or something. Or a spell weakness or whatever. Look, no one minds. It doesn't matter. Send that man to the abyss anyway. Cool. You kill Hef. That's very rude, Monster Train, let me tell you. Very rude. I'm going to keep Hef alive and you can't stop me. I'm going to click all the buttons because I like clicking the buttons and I think that's acceptable. Cool. I'm not going to click Siren Song because, let me tell you, that would be bad. I like how that card does sit in my hand at the very end there. They're just thinking, hmm, what if you clicked this? It's a 750 damage per turn, Siren. Per hit, rather. Per hit. Let me correct myself. Per hit. That Siren murders the Divinity so fast. This is going to be very much a pretty relentless kill. This is going to be like a 50 minute episode. I don't even know what's happening. Unreal. Now, I think I can actually get away with Hef here. I think so, because I drew Shark first. Now, it's not guaranteed. I could top deck into something horrible, but, you know, I'm at this point, I'm kind of whatever about it, yeah? It's fine. I'm not going to play the Preserve Thorns here. I don't need to draw, and I'd like to save everything else, but it's cool. Yeah, you could, I always was under the impression you could hit both Sirens here, and that is for sure a downside, but it's okay. I am going to play the Pyrogro. I'm going to just click cards. Our goal is to just incant to the point where this is a functional amount of damage. Cool, we hit the Siren Song, which saves us 17s. We're looking good. Now, this other Siren, I'm going to have to draw around quick on, is basically the only thing because I got unlucky. I mean, it's not that unlucky. It's just kind of, it is what it is, right? It's fine. It is fine. Just play cards is the name of the game. I can chill, it's okay. Mid floor should clear most of those back lines. Yeah, they're gone. Shark will come back, clear middle floor. We didn't get chains, so I'm actually going to unname Tome Middle Floor and just send them. And then we play Siren up top. And most of this is going to just be straightforward from here, right? Very little to add otherwise. Just do big number, pretty much. We like big number, in fact. Yeah, we have it unlocked. And thanks to Shark, I can very comfortably just Siren Song whenever I see it, pretty much. Accurate. I mean, unless it's another mini boss, I suppose. That would be bad. Yeah, we just click cards. Brrr. <laughs> just completely blast that floor and then do some massive amount of damage to the boss. This is going to be a really good turn, by the way, in case you had any doubts. We just click Preserve Thorns and then we just incant so many times. And then we rail spike and send it and see what we hit. Oh, and we hit the siren song with no enemies on the floor. Seems good. The divinity is gone. The divinity stands no chance. He has ceased to be, is the way I would describe this. I do think we would lose here if I play Mr. Siren Song, so I will not do so. It might not kill me, but there's really no reason to take the risk six days it's not enough right it's just 40 it's like 60 damage per turn that's like 360 we definitely take like 50 damage to him don't need to click it anyway whatever it's fine get him shark good job behold the power of shark blow up top floor seems good reasonable all of the things that i'm doing right now are reasonable goals 
Hit that man, cool. Then I'll draw. I don't know why I wanted to do it in that order. It just seemed cooler, right? It just seemed a little neater. Anyway, I definitely can Siren Song here, which I think pushes this to a victory. Yeah, he's dead. Good job. Cool. Crunch. That's like a huge pre-boss rush on the Divinity. That's incredible news. A super crush. I mean... This was an unnecessary degree of high rolling. Once we saw the founding seal, I knew that this was a victory. So I was just kind of speeding this along to glory. But we did end up getting a lot of the pieces of what I was hoping we would see. Totem Fragment, Holdover, Wingmaker, plus 30. It's a really good score. 63k is a great score for a random C25 run especially an expert challenge, Hef actually showed up in the end and became kind of a face tank. I didn't really need her, but I think giving her a 25 and incant, rather 25 gold incant armor two is, well, it's definitely a cheaper solution to her than removing her. I think obviously Forever Flame made this a little more palatable. And even if I did have to redraw on the divinity, it's fine, right? I'm okay with that. Doesn't really hurt that much. We were so far ahead, I pre-rolled on this divinity anyway. Obviously, it didn't hurt that much. Shark, meanwhile, completely popped off. Seriously, there was like ring four. That steel shop gave me literally everything. That was what? Incant armor two, plus 25, endless, multi-strike. I could afford it all. It was just free real estate. It was so, the greatest shop of all time. The greatest trade deal of all time. It's definitely what I would name this episode if it weren't an expert challenge. But but yeah, Hef is good, as it turns out. I do think Stygian's a great pick here. Frozen Lances are good 20 consumed targets. They're flexible. They can take shards decently. They're fine. They help at least a little bit. And you get a lot of spell weakness interaction, which pop, props up Wingmaker even further. The Wingmaker here crushes. It's doing 72 baseline, hits twice, bypassing single spell shields and damage shields. Gives you space, which I, I guess that really doesn't matter, but it is kind of cool that it does it. And then also with, you know, <laughs> Totem Fragment is just doing 72 times 3, so big numbers, but good stuff. Otherwise, is a very excellent Stygian run, pretty much. Stygian with a lot of card draw. Siren Song really showing up, by the way, as well. Thanks to the shark, this thing's doing just catastrophic amounts of damage to enemy waves. You can clear entire waves with this just easily. Even if we didn't have Wingmaker or other things, this itself is a very, very strong card here. You have to watch it on some turns, right? Don't like ascend the boss. Don't ascend a mini boss. It's going to kill you. But otherwise, you kind of just cruise with it. So good stuff. Also, by the way, Titan's Gratitude, not terrible here. When it being the only one and it pumping out 175 damage hits, I'm good with that. And it's free. Neat. So cool. A lot of fun stuff on this run that kind of played together well. And... Yeah, we will uh, let it go there. So, Expert Challenge Truer Champion in the bag. Episode under an hour. I don't think anyone's really surprised by that. This is a fun one, but it's not terribly tough. So, anyway. Thanks a lot for watching this. I really appreciate your time. As always, you can give the video a like if you want. You can subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And stay tuned for what's next. Take care, folks.